Hello, and welcome to Antique Antics with me, Mark Fraser. Today we're just going to talk about me, where I come from, what I do, and what I can do for you. So my name is Mark Fraser. I um, am an independent valuer, specialising in probate and inheritance tax. I'm based in Norfolk and I specialise in virtually everything. Over the many years I've been in the antiques trade, I've catalogued furniture, ceramics, pictures, glass, books, toys, records, scientific instruments, you name it, I've catalogued it. I worked for many, many years for one of the most respected and I think one of the best regional auction rooms throughout the UK. We had great success with some staggering prices. I started out there as a 17 year old as a porter and worked my way up over many years until I was eventually senior valuer responsible for cataloguing everything in the sale. What do I hope to achieve with Antique Antics? Well, what I find when I look at, at, at people doing similar things on YouTube is, is quite simply that they're either at one extreme or the other. And what I hope to do is sit somewhere in the middle. What I mean by that is they're either rather too dumbed down or they're far too professional in the sense that they're telling you about such specialist things that you, the every man or every person, should I say, is not likely to see them in everyday life. It's all very interesting and, and they're highly skilled people talking about these things. But what I hope to do is to, to, to uh, plough a furrow somewhere down the middle where the average person who likes to go along to an antiques fair, likes to go along, have a look around antique shops in small villages, and just pick things up and look at them and, and maybe spend 30, 40, 50, 100, 150 pounds on things, whatever. But we're not going to extremes. We're going to stay on the average item that the average person might see. So there's going to be tips. There's going to be hints. There's going to be reminiscences from my time in the um, antiques trade. There's going to be... Uh, my thoughts on trends, how the, how the antiques trade has changed, how it may change in the future, what you shouldn't be buying, what you should be buying, things that are, are, are well worth buying for insurance, which have dropped out of fashion, which may come back in. There's many, many things that I can, I can hopefully teach you that will be of genuine use to you on your weekends out at the antiques fairs. So until the next time, where I'm not sure what we'll talk about, but hopefully you'll find it interesting. Bye-bye.